My name is Rebecca. I'm 27 years old and I am addicted to highlighting my Bible. Started with just um, highlighting the message. Actually, I prefer that translation. I think it's a very good uh, paraphrase. And the more kind of hermeneutics and the typography that I saw, I was like, you know what? There's so many other translations that they offer. I'll go to the library and check out many as I can, usually 20 a week, go through them, highlight them, return them so that other people can be blessed just as much as I am. It started to become a problem uh, about six months ago. I was supposed to take Rebecca out for our one year anniversary and she said she couldn't go out because uh, she had to go to her grandma's funeral and uh, I just felt sick to my stomach, felt awful for her and so I swung by her house to have a little uh, gift basket ready for her when she got home from the funeral. And when I went to her door, I saw through the window, Rebecca just vigorously highlighting her Bible. And that was the moment I knew uh, that maybe this isn't gonna work out. I will go through and highlight some of my favorite verses, specifically some that talk about the Lord. I've known Rebecca for a really long time and you know, she um, she discipled me, and so it was really good um, when she initially taught me how to highlight my Bible, and I was really encouraged with all the different colors, and you can, you know, see God and all these things, but it's, I mean, it's an issue. It's color-coded, and I get it when some people turn a page, it's too much of like rainbow, Lisa Frank kind of feel that they, they're, they're not about. The colors mean something, okay? You could just ask, you could go to the front of the page where I've, I've told you that if it's yellow, it talks about sin. If it's blue, it talks about Jesus. If it's pink, then it's talking about God's love, Avi. Just highlighting and highlighting, almost just scribbling, just colorful ink onto the paper, uh, just jamming out to, to Family Force 5. Is she, even, is she even reading it? Let me tell you that she really actually isn't. She just goes through it real quick, highlights it. I'm her friend and we can't even hang out because she's busy highlighting. Hey, where were you? We were supposed to meet half an hour ago. Oh, I'm almost done with Revelation, so. Well, we missed the movie because of you. We were all waiting outside. Uh, I'm sorry, but I was worshiping. Is she just, is, is it strictly a, a highlighter relationship with the text? It's messed up. I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to edify the church. This is my ministry, actually. It's not an addiction. There's a lot of other addictions that people could have. I'm not addicted to, like, getting drugs or anything, or drinking things, or doing stuff. I'm addicted to the Word. If you guys cannot support me in that, I can go make other friends. Are you talking? Okay.